looked him right in the eyes, and I told my dad, hey, I'll suck your dick. Welcome back, my children. Daddy loves you. Jesus, that sounded weird. What the fuck? All right, I need to stop fucking around with the intro. I need to just get straight down to business. I'm sorry, guys. Anyway, today I'm going to go ahead and tell you a very cringeworthy story about one of the most embarrassing things that's ever happened to me. So you need to prepare yourselves for the cringe because it is off the charts. I know I've said this before, but this time I fucking mean it. So today I'm going to talk about when I got kicked out of my house for a while and when I had my parents pretty much ignore me for a period of my life. This was back when I was live streaming. I used to stream Diablo 3 on Twitch and uh, I was in a situation where I couldn't really afford my own place. I couldn't really do anything except stream at my parents' house. So that's exactly what I did. I was living at my parents' house and I was living in the basement. Well, it's not quite the basement. It's kind of like the laundry room area but it's not the laundry room area it's like the room next to the laundry room area that's just full of shit and is really cold and just sucks but anyway that's kind of where I, I streamed and I used to just stay up all night long yelling and cursing and saying just dumb shit it got really annoying but my parents were somehow able to actually tolerate it eventually things kind of got a little bit out of hand where people started donating and I got into the habit of saying some weird stuff when people donated uh, not only did I read people's messages out loud which were really fucked up people would say stuff like Heil Hitler and just some bad stuff man some bad stuff stuff that I read out loud, which probably sent my parents mixed messages, but I got into the habit of saying, whenever somebody donated as my thank you, I would go ahead and I would say, I'll suck your dick, and it just got to be a habit. I really don't know why. Honestly, it makes me think a little bit about my sexuality, but that's a different question. I just got into that habit, and people would just spam donate to me over and over and over, and every time somebody donated, I said, hey, Jimmy John, thanks for the $2. I'll suck your dick, man. Thank you for that. And then I would move on and keep playing until somebody else donated. One day, all of a sudden, um, it was late at night or early in the morning, depending on how you look at it. It was 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning around that time, which is generally the time that my dad wakes up to go to work. He works very early and gets back uh, either very late or in the early afternoons. So he was waking up to go to work. He noticed that I was still streaming and I was still in the shit room next to the laundry room and I was yelling. And uh, he decided to just come in and say a quick hello. Just give me a little wave, make sure I was doing all right. You know, just typical fatherly love. Except the timing in this situation went abysmally wrong. The second that my dad walked in, somebody ended up donating. And as soon as my dad walked in, I just got into the habit and looked him right in the eyes and I told my dad hey I'll suck your dick and it just it just it was the most awkward embarrassing fucked up disturbing shitty situation ever because I just looked at him as he walked into the room because you know something happened besides me yelling the door opened and I just my eyes just automatically went there and I was already in the middle of saying that sentence I'll suck your dick so it just it just became very creepy awkward cringy and weird and uh, as soon as that happened, my dad came up to me and he told me that this kind of behavior is inappropriate for the household and that I couldn't be doing what I did anymore and that I would have to leave. And that's pretty much how I got kicked out of the house for a while. Yeah, pretty fucking cringe. Gaben, please forgive me. Anyway, that's that story. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, go ahead and feel free to share it, like it, thumbs up, subscribe, all that YouTube shit. Check out my other stories and all that garbage. God, the whoring out is real, but I gotta do it. As a professional YouTuber, I have to say these things or I'll die. So thanks again. And everybody that likes this video will receive a free fuck. I wasn't prepared for this.